Hi traders, this is Chris from Elite Currency with a video on how to place the Fibonacci tool. So it's a simple video just showing you how to insert it on your chart. Let's get started. First of all, you need to open MT4. That is the platform that I'll be using in this example. So open your platform, MT4, uh, for instance, and find Fibonacci. You can find that by going to insert and you find Fibonacci right here and you see retracement. That's how you find it. You can click on it with your left mouse button and you will have something like this. You first of all click on the very first starting spot and then drag it with your left mouse button and then release it at the second point. So what you do is once again you take the button which you also can find at the very top it says Fibonacci retracement it has an F in the right lower corner you click on it with your left mouse button then you click on the very first spot that you want keep clicking keep holding that and release where you want to have it that's how you do it so you click here drag and release so typically where you want to put the Fibonacci retracement level is again a different story. There will be a separate video on what are good swing highs and swing lows in this case. But this is how you technically do it and place it on the chart. Take a look at that video to find out how you actually find the best swing highs and swing lows. So moving on, once we have now the Fibonacci level on our chart, you can see that there's nothing really else to do. The retracement tool is there and we also have targets. Now if you want to change those levels, let's talk about that. First of all, you click with the left mouse button on the Fibonacci tool. All right? Then you right click on it and left click on Fibonacci or Fibo properties. Then a second screen here is added and you can add levels by clicking, going to Fibo levels here on the tab and add, clicking on add. That will give you the opportunity to add any level you want and then putting the level here, of course, for instance, uh, a minus 1000, you would just type in that case, minus one dot, minus one dot zero zero zero. Description, you can write anything you want, but I would then do minus, very simple, I would just do the same, minus 100 or make it a bit different like this. I add also a percent and a dollar figure after a space, so it's minus 100.0 space percentage dollar sign, because in that case, currency level, the price levels will be added behind the Fibonacci levels, behind the Fibonacci retracements and the Fibonacci targets. So these are all the levels I have added. There will be a separate video on that, which levels and why I use these levels, but you can see all these retracement levels and targets with a currency price as well. If you want to change the color, again, go to Fibo Properties and you see the style at the bottom. You can make a thicker line or a dash line. You can also decide to put it on a different time frame, saying, okay, I only want it on the one hour chart. You click then only on one. You say, okay, show on all time frames. No, I don't want that. So you click here and then on the time frames you want, like the hour and four hour, for instance. And uh, that is basically the most useful information regarding changing. If you still want to alter the Fibonacci tracement tool, that is perfectly possible. Just click on the bottom or the top with the left mouse button and start dragging it to a new spot and release. Drag, click on it, drag and release. Same story and you can always move the same Fibonacci level wherever you want. Furthermore, you can of course add a second one if you want to and you can find confluence and you can change the color of that one, for instance, to something else so that it's easier to recognize the difference between these two Fibonacci levels and you see one is magenta, one is green and I've added two levels. If you want to get rid of any of one or two or three or how many you want to add, not too many obviously, otherwise the chart will be too busy, just click on right click on the Fibo properties and delete. If you are interested in finding out more about Fibonacci, ask for our free ebook on Fibonacci by emailing us, sending a tweet, or just visiting our website and dropping a note. Thanks so much for joining this webinar and video, and hope to see you soon. Good trading.